so some people have asked on the channel i figure i will go ahead and give you a quick walk around of my forerunner uh to show you a little bit about what i use for camping uh adventuring and just daily driving so this is a 2024 runner sr5 edition i bought it right around the time of the covid shutdown in fact it was the night that everything was starting to shut down louisiana as a result, I got a pretty good deal on it because I think they were looking to get rid of vehicles. Everyone thought it was the end of the world. I use it for camping and hauling my kayak, uh, mountain bikes, adventurous stuff, outdoors. But it is also my daily driver. This is my one and only vehicle. I drive my kids to school in this. I take my wife for dates in this. So I wanted to have just enough adventure in this truck to handle what I need and not go all crazy. The tires I run are 255 8017 Falcon Wild Peaks. Uh, these have been great tires. They're great all-terrain. Um, you know, they stick to the road. They're great on the road in rain. Pretty good off-road and on trails. They're also very quiet. Uh, everyone gets the 285, which is a wider tire. This is a little bit skinnier. I think maybe it gets better fuel economy. I'm not quite sure, but it's it's fine for what I have. Suspension is Bilstein 5100s. I still have the stock coils. Uh, they are set at about a two inch lift, uh, but I'm thinking about replacing this soon and getting some heavier coils, uh, putting the clip down in the regular position. In the back, I have the Bilstein 5100s uh, with a little bit, uh, I think I have a one inch spacer up there. I do not have real rock sliders. Uh, these are just some crappy steps that I got from Amazon. Honestly, they've held up fairly well. I have taken this truck to Moab and I smashed them on some rocks a couple times. And one, I think the other one bent a little bit, but it, you know, it's not that bad. It's not a full rock slider. Uh, maybe I will get them at some point, but so far I just haven't needed it for the rack. I have a three-quarter front runner slimline two, I think, and I got these little expedition rails on there. This rack has been great. I've had it about three years since I got the truck, and the the only thing is I should have gone ahead with the full rack to begin with uh, because I'm thinking about getting a rooftop tent and I could use some more space. So I have a Gobi uh, on order that should be in in a month or so. I'm going to replace in that and sell this. But the rack itself has been, uh, it has been great. It is so solid, so rigid. It does make a little bit of noise on the highway, but uh, it's a beast. I mean, you could have a few people up here. When my daughter and I took trips to the Southwest before I got my trailer, uh, we'd carry everything up here. And then at night we would come up here and watch the sunset and watch the stars it is held up well it's got a few scratches but still a good rack this is the baja rack i got it on four by four parts i think uh this has been a great ladder it is so tough makes the roof so accessible um especially when you're when I'm putting kayaks and things like that up there, it just makes it so much easier. Some basic ditch lights. These are some cheapos from like Harbor Freight. Uh, you know, they've, they've worked fine for me. I have these little mounts. I think that's like Rago, Rago Fabrication, something like that. And in the interior, I got this little piece up here. I have some other stuff that goes here. Ram mount for my phone, which is great. I mean, you can do, you can take rough roads in your truck, um, you know, tons of washboard roads. You put your phone here, it's good. It's not going anywhere. I also got this piece, which, uh, to be honest, I haven't used it yet. Um, I really don't want to load up all kinds of crap and gadgets here, especially since I live in a city where people may steal it, and I don't want to be taking things in and out. Uh, my wife actually hates this thing. I bump my knee into it sometimes too. So I don't know. I may have, re I maybe regret getting this thing, but I'm just going to leave it in here for now. Uh, 
I haven't figured out what to put up there. I've put a GoPro here and a phone, but I don't want to be loading up all kinds of crap just for the hell of it. I got these Molly panels for the back, which I love. These things have been great. Uh, I have a waterproof bag. I have my air down kit over there. Um, poncho, first aid kit. I have various tools, uh, air compressor, this bag. It's not the most organized right now because I'm on a trip, um, but it really helps get everything off the ground. And then when you're doing stuff, you don't have stuff going flying around. So it's it's been very nice. I use the cargo net. Uh, of course, you got to have your beer. Um, I use this Lifetime fridge. Got this from Walmart, like really cheap. It's it was like a hundred bucks, and I think it's just as good as a Yeti. You know, people pay all this money for the Dometic coolers and Yetis and. <laughs> You know, honestly, if you're just going out for a few days, this is plenty. I've taken this uh, in the heat of the southwest, and we've still kept ice in it for like five days. That's good enough. So my forerunner pulls a runaway Venturous, uh, which is another video. We're just sticking to the forerunner now, but, you know, that gives you an idea of what I have. And I think I'm probably at the limit of upgrades, you know. I thought about a winch and a rear bumper and all this. And truthfully, I just don't know if I'm going to use all that. Possibly a winch someday. But the rear bumper is so much weight. And, you know, I'm towing as well. And if I want to get a bigger trailer, um, that impacts my capacity. There's just too much baggage, at least for me, putting on a rear bumper. I may upgrade the suspension soon. But... Nothing crazy, 